The telltale signs of a rough stretch in someone's life on full display for all to see. A sleeping bag and various other personal items scattered on the ground underneath the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. Do you sleep out here sometimes? Yes. Yes. Because it's not safe and because of the space in there. 24-year-old Venezuelan asylum seeker William Montilla telling us Thursday he arrived in the U.S. four months ago. We are not disclosing the exact location in Brooklyn where he's now staying for security reasons, but he says several other men initially assigned to a nearby homeless shelter now routinely choose to sleep outside under the highway due to overcrowding and security concerns inside the shelter. This is not right because people did not want to be robbed. They want safety and security. These men may not belong to New York City's traditional pre-asylum seeker crisis street homeless population, but many share a sense of desperation and hopelessness. City officials say they continue to search for housing alternatives and plea for additional federal aid. Meantime, the city's shelter system and the Roosevelt Hotel Intake Center remain at full capacity. I want you to know that we are constantly looking at sites to see how we can accommodate um, people, but we need support. It's not a good thing. We got to step up and provide more shelter for these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can't be living here underneath the, the BQE, living on the street. Like, it's, it's kind of depressing. But as we get colder, you know, we worry about the harsh winters. As the seasons change, Theodore Moore of the New York Immigration Coalition says city government and its nonprofit community will need to work together to address an exploding street homeless population, especially as more asylum seekers join their ranks. That solution includes, you know, more, uh, more funding and resources from the federal government. For housing. For, for housing and everything. They need supportive housing. We need mental health support. We need education support. William Montilla grew emotional while discussing the families he and so many other young men left behind. I have a six-year-old boy and a two-year-old girl. And my wife is from Venezuela. We moved here for our future. Residents tell us as recently as a couple of weeks ago, they saw full-blown tent encampments set up underneath the BQE. It's unclear if those people moved along on their own or if they were pushed out by some city agency. What is clear is that routine is certainly going to grow more difficult as the weather changes and it gets colder.